What is up there guys? Welcome to Brad Johnson TV channel. Today we are live with my friend Bailey. We are playing some Minecraft on the PS4 edition. Our world is named Rest in Peace PlayStation because they're acting like complete garbage right now. Uh, so hi Bailey, welcome. Welcome Bailey, not happy. Hey, what's up man? It's good to see you again. Uh, I know how many times we kept making a new world, but I think this time we are going to stick with it and kind of live stream. Today this live stream it's gonna be somewhat long i don't know how long because it depends on my schedule and bailey's schedule i don't know how long he's allowed to play maybe two hours maybe three hours we're gonna try to get a lot done and hopefully everything goes good let me tweet everything out real quick guys because i have to tweet out the live stream or i get no views <laughs> hey wait that's sad that's not funny <laughs> i was just sitting there like laughing about that, that. like <laughs> that ain't funny. It's sad when I sat there and said that. So if you're watching this, guys, I'm so glad you are. You can watch this at 720p. You can. I don't I haven't 1080p, guys. You know. You know how. Thank you for the like, whoever liked it. Hey, what's up? What's going on? <laughs> that was me. Yeah, I can hear us for sure, so we're good. We're good. <laughs> All right, Lawrence, we can hear. I'm still tweeting out because I'm. I, I had it. I had it. I had it. There we go. Tweet this out on Facebook. Yep, sure thing. Sure. I don't know why I tweeted out to Facebook. Um. Tweeted out to Google and then tweeted out to Instagram because I totally don't use Instagram. Oh, the day hey Bailey, what's up, man? You typed in the chat. That's awesome. Yeah, yeah, I was seeing if it was all working. Uh, if you wanted to test my Nightbot, just put regular high, like, you know, high, to see if Nightbot says high back. Uh, welcome, guys. Welcome, oh. welcome. Sorry, we're just kind of getting everything set up. Uh, okay. Oh, you already made us wooden stuff. Nice. All right, so. Oh, yeah, dude. I don't play. You don't play. Uh. Nope. So what we need to do is find an area where we want to build. I guess this little island will do because honestly, this is not that bad of an island. Plus, we got a cave system that's like right here. And there's a skeleton like right there. Oh, shit. He saw me. Dude, the skeleton spotted me. Are you good? Uh, yeah, I ran away like a little, ran away like a little baby. So do you see all these pigs over here, or is it just me? <laughs> now there's tons of pigs. Uh, we could, we could do certain things to them. We can, we can hurt them. We can, we can sell them. I think selling them might be the best way to go, cause we can make a lot of money, and we can make millions and millions of dollars. Wait, I hope we're seriously not collecting them, because I killed half of them. Oh, no, you're killing them, too. Okay. I'm killing sheep and pigs. So the reason why we're playing some Minecraft is because we wanted to. We we had a other... We play on the other world, but we had to make a new one for, uh, for you guys, for you can experience how bad we play <laughs> I don't know why I think we're doing good I don't know we haven't died yet I mean <laughs> not yet I mean it's gonna happen eventually if you if you, if you know what I mean I gotta go finish cutting this tree down or it's gonna bug me because it's floating in midair right and I, I, I want a white horse because that's the only freaking horses that are over here is freaking white Oh, there's a white and black one. Be my baby. Be my baby. Be my baby. Be my baby. No, don't kick me off. Be my sweetheart. Love me. Not not like that, but give me hearts. Follow me on Instagram, horse. <laughs> Follow me on YouTube. <laughs> Subscribe to the John, uh, Brian Johnson TV channel on YouTube. Uh, follow me on Twitch, which you could, it, it, which is Bradley Johnson underscore TV yeah 
Dude, this horse is being a B. <gasps> He's my baby. All right, I got me. How'd you get I him? got me a horse. Uh, just give me and this horse a little bit of alone time. Uh, in our little bushes over here. Go away, you ugly small horse. Me and this horse has got to go do some stuff. I don't want to lose that horse. Um, but if I do, I do. So we. Wow, it's already getting night time. Ah. It's not funny. Uh, that really? It was funny for me. Where is that? I was trying to cut down a floating tree and you're sitting there laughing at me. And I accidentally jumped. To my death almost. So if you're watching this as a playback, uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, this might be the only Minecraft episode y'all get. <laughs> Just letting you know that right now. I don't know if we're going to do a full series on this or not. If we do we do if we don't we don't and if you are watching this as a playback there'll be a link down below to go visit his youtube channel bailey's youtube channel where you can watch him go live from time to time <laughs> and i mean time to time because i don't i don't know his schedule i don't know oh man it's already dark bro i know i was just thinking that like were we will we camping at tonight um, anywhere that's safe, for starters. Yeah, anywhere that's safe. This is Minecraft. <laughs> Where do you... <laughs> I know. I sound so dumb now. Like, anywhere safe. We're sitting here playing some freaking Minecraft. There's a pig up here. I know we we're going to have to find some cobblestone fast, too. Uh -oh. Well, that pig just committed suicide. You dumb pig. I mean, like, we could probably build our... Mm. I guess we could build it up here. Like, clear all this out and just build up here. Uh, yeah, let's do that. I mean, honestly, we're doing this the hard way. Would you stop messing with the cord? Yeah, don't meow at me. Alright, you have a crab table, correct? Yeah, I already placed it down. Alright, good, because I can make me a shovel. Man, an enchanted wooden shovel would be great. Oh yeah, like with unbreaking three and all that stuff. No, with sharpness eleven. If that was even, no. of course, sharpness eleven is not real. But if it was, that would be. I'm knocking stuff down on my end. I'm knocking down my phone. Knocking down everything on my end. And I'm also gonna spray the kitty cat with some water. Cause I can. It kind of keeps her calm whenever she gets too hyper. And believe me, my cat gets hyper as all get out. Oh, my shovel broke. That's nice. <laughs> That's why you gotta make more than one. <laughs> oh, I did. You know, I think I'll cut a tree a little bit quicker if I didn't use my wooden pickaxe. Just a hair. Yeah. Oh! Now she's gonna lick herself forever. <laughs> <laughs> I sprayed the crap out of wood water. Alright, anyways. My cat has like severe ADD, like up the ass. So she like tries to bounce off walls and stuff like that, so I had to keep her tame. And. The only way I could think of is grabbing water and spraying them, because cats cats don't really like it when you spray them with water. I love that skeleton that's in the back over there. Yeah, he's just chilling. Oh. He's just chilling with the creeper. I mean, <laughs> he ain't he ain't really bucking us, so. I mean, what can you? Okay, that creeper just came over creeper. here somehow. All right.
Nice. We are pro. <laughs> we are. We just killed a creeper. Creeper with wooden swords. Yeah, wooden swords really ain't the best thing in the world. They're not. I mean, they're... <laughs> like, even... Even cobblestone, the thing that's kind of sad is cobblestone and, and wood kind of have this somewhat the same attack and stuff like that as far as like damage wise. So it's kind of the same, like cobblestone only bumps it up by two I believe and that's it. And then when you get iron that's when it really bumps up. And then when you get diamond it really really bumps up and then when you get gold it really bumps it up. The only bad thing about gold is it doesn't last as long. It is the strongest, but it doesn't last the strong uh the the longest. Okay, so I got some stupid seeds. All right, so this is where we're going to build our house. I don't want it to be birch wood though, I can tell you that much. But I was thinking What type of wood did I use on our other house? That house took forever. I'm not doing that again. Uh, I believe we used dark oak. Oh yeah, that's yeah, that's the, and that dark oak look amazing. Uh, dude, it does. That's one of my favorite things to use. I mean, there's some dark oak down there. I could go get it. Oh, we're cooking meat. All right, cool. Oh yeah, I already got started on all that. Yeah, something's killing me from behind. I'm busy placing oh. a chest down. Just gonna put some items in there. Oh yeah, yeah, that's right, my map. Shoot, open her up. Oh yeah, sweet. Okay, now I don't want to lose that, so I'm putting my map in there. We already we already got enough wool to craft a bed too. Yeah. I mean, if you want to skip the night, we can, but. Oh no, I'm good. <laughs> I mean, I wouldn't. I wouldn't mind. Actually, it's probably not a bad idea. Skip the night. Yeah. Well, I don't want it to be a white bed. What color bed do you want? Uh. Thing. You probably could wait till morning and then just craft some. I, I like mine's blue, right off the back, because my favorite color of Minecraft's blue. Yeah, that's gonna have to wait. Uh, cause I mean, for now, actually, you know, I'll take a white one. I can always change it later. Nope. I see a cow. That's the thing about Minecraft. Once you. Oh no! I meant like I can build a different kind of bed. No, I think you can actually re-dye it long as it's still white. Ah, will you stop eating me? I'm not eating you. Long enough I can heal. Alright, bed. Bed. Pick one. Hopefully I don't get stuck in the furnace like I did last time. That, that was an issue. Oh my goodness gracious, you saw where it spawned me? Right next to the furnace. <laughs> I'm telling you, this game is just... Do what? Your phone is vibrating? I was like... Yeah, I had to keep an eye on it for employment reasons. Employment reasons. So if y'all don't know, Bailey sells his body for money. Oh, no, 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 no. No, not that kind of employment. Oh, never mind. I was going to say, supposedly he sells his body for money. <clears throat> I mean, you can make a lot of money by doing that. I wouldn't recommend <laughs> it. But I'm going to be homeless. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. You make a lot of money by doing that. You just got to find the right person that's willing to take you. Oh, touche. 
<laughs> Guys, don't ever become a prostitute. That shit's stupid. Ah, oh, come on. Seriously, Bradley? You, you knew that. <laughs> you dumb nut. Alright, how did I get up there in the first place? <laughs> What the? Seriously? Gosh, I'm about ready to die. That's because <laughs> you keep going after mobs that you don't need to go after. And I took all the meat out of the oh, well, furnace. Skeleton. Yeah, I got some cooking. I jacked all the meat that was in the furnace. Nah, you're good. I got some cooking. I, I've seen that already. Yeah, I didn't mean to. I was going to put it in the chest, but then I went to go get some of this dark oak. Oh, is that where you're at? Okay. Yeah, I'm cutting down a dark oak tree right now. Yeah, I guess I could come do that. The base will go up a lot quicker. Oh, come on! Seriously? <laughs> I'm cutting these side parts off because it doesn't... You don't know when... You don't know which one's the side part and which one is, and then... Once you fall, you realize that it was a side part. Okay, yeah, that's all the side parts. Alright, there we go. Let me get back up on the tree. Wooden axe. Uh, a wooden axe uh, sucks. I already got cobblestone stuff. You know, it would be better if we had a uh, diamond. Oh, yeah. But that's a dream for now. I mean, it is for now. But I always use I always use wood on freaking trees. And the reason why Ooh. I use wood on trees, because it actually gives it a slight better chance of my wood and stuff getting broken. <laughs> Nah, I just like. I see what you did. <laughs> yeah, I wanted to try to confuse people, but it didn't work. Dark sauce. Nah. So I got 50 from one tree. That ain't bad. I mean, it could be better. Stop! It's my tree. Oh, I was just helping you so it gets done quicker. Well, <laughs> I don't need it to be done quicker. Alright, uh, yeah, I'm gonna make a cobblestone one. Just gonna drop that there. Uh, that, 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 that. Yeah, we, ha we have a cobblestone cave that's like right over here, guys. Or, well, technically it's not a cave. I should call it a pass through. But still, even a pass through is, uh, good for cobblestone. We got a little tiny hole right here. Then we got these awesome, awesome trees right here. Dude, we we basically got a mixture of every tree up. Oh, guess what I just found? In a di Diamond no, or iron. no, no, neither. I'm not in the cave. I, f I oh. found a I found a temple. A desert temple. Yeah, so we'll definitely have to hit that up later. I'm hitting it up right now. And guess what? The jungle bomb's not that far oh, from us. Ahead, Holy cow! This is a good world. Cause anytime me and uh, Bailey end up making a world. Oh, creeper. I'm nowhere near you. Yeah. I just got blown up. <laughs> I can't tell what pressure plate. That, 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 that made me sad. Did you die? No, but it took. Uh, I got like three hearts. Dang, well, if you didn't die, don't, don't cry. I can't help it. I'm emotionally unstable because of that creeper. Uh, did that creeper do stuff that you didn't like? Did it blow you to pieces? Yeah, it tried killing me. <laughs> <laughs> I, yeah, I guess that would be pr pretty brutal, wouldn't it? It's gonna get real dark in a second, guys. Here, shoot, shoot, shoot. shoot. Yes, this is a sp this is smart as all get out. I'm the smart one. 
I made staircases going all the way down before I can make my way back up. Alright, let's see what's in it. Oh my god. Emerald, gold, 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 iron, the sand, more sand, string, bone, Sp spider eye? Okay, sure. Next chest. Rotten flesh, rotten flesh, rotten flesh. Fire aspect one as an enchantment. Horse armor. Okay, that's good. It's not the best horse armor. Oh, okay. More rotten flesh, more gold, more sand, more gunpowder. A golden apple uh, and more sand. Next chest. Uh, and this next chest really... S oh, a saddle. Well, look at that. Now I can ride my horsey horse. <laughs> <laughs> okay guys there's one thing that Bradley always gets whenever he comes to the temple and that's the TNT I must have my TNT TNT will make it where I can blow stuff up later on down the road especially when you go mining TNT is like the best thing to use to mine I should take these chests, shouldn't I? That's actually not a bad idea. The only bad thing is, is I didn't bring anything to be able to chop them all. I got you, man. I'm, I'm, I'm getting the chest. You see my staircase th the way down, right? Uh huh. <laughs> so make sure you take it back up. That was actually smart. <laughs> Cause I know that's usually we just jump down there. And <laughs> so I found our uh, fire axe spit one for a book, which is actually pretty decent. I also found a golden apple that's non-enchanted. Heck yeah. Uh, I got a horse saddle. That's the main thing I'm happy about. I mean, if you want to put that on your sword later on, you can. Or we can hold on to the book. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Let's, oh, there's a rabbit. What the fudge? He, he jumped in the water. I wish I could catch you. Just to make you as my little pet. I would love to have a rabbit, a rabbit as my pet. You, a pet. You want to know why? Because hmm. they're so freaking quiet. <laughs> <laughs> so it's not like, you know, they make noises as creepers and whatnot. Grabbing, I'm grabbing a little bit of everything like sugar cane before I get start get that going. I'm gonna plant the sugar cane right here next to the temple. Okay. I'm just going back to the house. Same here. Or what will be our house? Yeah, we're gonna use Should dark say. oak on it, guys. Cause dark oak looks good. Dark oak, just, it's amazing. Now, if it was the PC, we could download mods to make it look even more better, but Dark Oak works. I feel like Dark Oak and, and Distanite, you know, like like when you smooth it out and make it into a block. Yeah. Mixed with Dark Oak wood is the best base ever. I don't know why. Yeah, but then you get the ugly looking, smooth. The way I like it's having... I always like using regular oak logs as like the main support. Oak logs is like the main support. I don't know why I like my house lifted. I like it lifted off the ground just a little to make it look like it's a real house because they lift your house up in real life. Kind of. Yeah, unless you just build straight off of uh, the concrete, you know, pour like concrete down, make a foundation. They still kind of lift it. Yeah, temporarily, yes. I mean, all house where I live, Back at the house. where I live, Got all this food. where I live, they they lift your house. They just lift it. All right, oh. do we want our house real big, real small? <laughs> um. Well, if we make it big right now, I think we're going to make more work for ourselves than we have to. I mean, if you think about it, we can wait to make it big, big, like when we get iron and stuff. One, two. Oops. Oh. 
three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. No, I'm not making it into a box, people. I'm just gonna make it into a box. I got bubbles coming out of me. Probably got hit with a potion. Yeah, I accidentally ate that golden apple like a complete dum dum. Smoothing this out some. I want to make it like the other house. I'm trying to replicate replicate the uh, other house. So that should be oh, one, okay. two, oh, that's three, gonna be big. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. It's eleven. Eleven's an odd number, isn't it? That's gonna bug me. Yeah. Damn. You have a crossbone axe, right? Uh, yeah. Alright, need more wood? I'm gonna go grab some cobblestone real quick. <laughs> I see where you mined oh, it. I, was just I see where you grabbed the cobblestone. You mined this area kind of out. Uh, I only grabbed like 10 blocks, I think. Ow. I'm getting hit from somewhere. <laughs> We used to take caves, uh, you know, you remember that? We used to always take over caves and make it into our home. Because it, if you think about it, yeah. sometimes that could be the best thing. Because one, it's already built. All you gotta do is dig a hole. Two, there's a creeper. <laughs> I don't know where that creeper came from. Yeah, I don't know. I just kind of looked up. He was there. I tried hitting him. Totally didn't miss because I panicked. Creepers, they, oh my god, they love human beings. Bad skeleton. Bad. Shame on you. You want to sleep? Uh, yeah, we prop. Oh, I've seen some brick block. I thought you got blown up by a creeper. Right. We probably should, to be honest. I haven't got blown up yet. I have. You cannot sleep when monsters are nearby. Hmm. What monsters nearby? Oh. Probably under. Ooh. Take that. And then you got a creeper coming up. So I'm gonna step over here. Hey, get out of bed. Where'd it go? Oh, it's down there. It's aggroed on me. Oh, there's two of them. Uh, mm -hmm. Well. That works. Now we can lay down. Wow, no, the other one's aggroed on you now. Are you serious? Yeah, he's coming up here. <sighs> yep. Seriously. He's not aggroed on me. Is he aggroed on me? Yeah, now, now he's aggroed on someone. I'm leaving him away from the beds. <sighs> Alright, now go to bed. I don't feel safe anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Why do you think I'm trying to get this house built? Every time we try to get this house built, there's a creeper that has to come up. He thinks he owns this place like he owns us. He don't own us. This tree's got to go. Sorry, tree. You got to go. We don't need Mother Nature. Alright. And so that that's 12 by 12. That's 12 right there. So this wooden log will count as 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. I mean, you did that the hard way, but sure. I really did. <laughs> So the reason why I'm doing it like this, guys, is because I'm replicating my old house. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven.
Oh crap. How much need how much does it need to go over? One? Okay, I got it. <laughs> yeah, you just awkwardly wait. I awkwardly wait. All right, so that's there. Now we're gonna have like a. Okay, so twelve by twelve divided by that by or split twelve by twelve half. That would be eight. No, because that would be sixteen. No, so twelve by twelve. Well, that technically this is twenty. So 20 by 20 would be 10. So 1, 2, 3. Oh, wait, I gotta count the log. 1, 2, 3. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, that's 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna want a pretty nice hallway. So I'm gonna make this kind of even. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, yep. And then one, two, three, four, five. Ah, oh, fudge! I messed up. <laughs> one, one, two, three, four, five. Only if they did what they did for the mobile, uh, for the mobile phone edition. What they do? They made it where it actually highlights the whole square. So like you can actually see what square you're looking at. Oh. So it's not like really difficult. But on here they're like, eh, forget about it. <laughs> that's kind of yeah it'd, it'd be really helpful it would so now we're gonna come out by i say about 10 so i need a uh, a lot more a lot more dirt but for now just use sand it's gonna bug bailey but forget about it <laughs> Oops, I grabbed eggs. One, oh, two, I don't know, we have like 140 three, dirt. Five. You see what I'm doing? Is it bugging you? Oh, yeah. Alright, good. I need this to come out by a 10. Or uh, I needed to come out by one more. That's it. Where that sand block is. This one right here. No. All right. All right here. Yeah. yeah, we're gonna we're gonna get rid of that sand, guys. Don't worry. It's only there for a temporary. Why I counted how many blocks I wanted to go out. And now we got to do the same for this one. Trying to make it look like our old place, guys, because our old place, this is where the staircase is going to go for upstairs. That's why this area right here is going to be like a gigantic staircase that kind of spirals up to the second floor, which I think is going to be pretty cool. Or maybe where we hide all the people. You never know. I'm going to start cutting these trees. That's right. These trees gotta go. We gotta kill them. <laughs> yeah, we we're not doing much yet. Nothing yet, but wait till we get done. Wait till I get done doing the the annoying roof. Ah, uh, I hear the. But we gotta build the second floor before we do the roof. Why we want two floors? I Dang. I honestly don't know. 
Do we really need two floors? Not really. These trees should start dying anyways because I cut all their wood out. Oh, pff, all but one. Now they'll start dying. Yeah, they're dying now. Cool. He's filling it in. You have no proof of what I'm down here doing. You're filling it all in. You bet your bohuki bottom I am. Yeah, I bet my butt. I am. Um, I'm filling this crap out right now. I'm filling everything out. Got to make this place look like it's ten times better than what it used to look like. I remember when we bought this place. It was falling apart and. It was nothing but land, and and now we uh, killed Mother Nature and basically told her to go kill her, kill kill a tree. Dang it! You made this come uh, out by one too yeah, far. Yeah, I'm sorry. I just seen that too. As soon as you put that block down, I was like, uh. Um. It's fine. It's fine though, because we'll need to walk around anyways. I guess I don't know. So, since we are going to build the second floor, we're going to use birch wood on that. No, we're going to use, uh, what was that beautiful block that we used? And this tonight? Yeah, so we're going to... Oh, wait, uh... We're going to have to collect a lot of that. Oh, yeah. But this is the foundation. I mean, not the foundation, but the way it's going to kind of look, guys. And then what we're going to do is where these two pillars are, we want to match that on this side. Or it's gonna drive me insane. Cause on this side we can make it go out to the farm. Or something. I swear if that's off I'm gonna shoot myself. Oh yeah, after just sitting there as long as you did trying to make sure it's perfect. Yeah. Something tells me it's one block off. Son of a gun. Is it? Uh, it's... No, it's good. Alright, it's good. What about this one? This one should have four squares also. Uh-oh. I don't like an uh-oh. I'm glad you kind of expanded that by one. <laughs> it was off, wasn't it? Yeah, I had it right the first time. I, I knew something was wrong. I just knew. My brain was like, Bradley. And I was like, yeah. Something's wrong, dude. I was like, I know. But what? <laughs> Your brain's are you retarded? It's off. Uh. See, because this is supposed to be four. One, two, three, four. Just like this side was. Which is one, two, three, four. But what I could do... Yeah, that actually looks really good. It's time to start getting planks. Oh my goodness, that made a bunch of planks. Oh, th three stacks so far. Four, four and a, four and a half stacks. That's that's crazy. Yes, it is getting nighttime. It's fine though, because we got the foundation build, which makes sense. It takes them that long in real life to add you to foundation. Um, it actually probably takes them. Ah, oh, what the boop? Seriously, man. Man, what 
the WTF? I just got done fixing that too. Literally, I just got done fixing Pretty it. Much. And then immediately, the game's like, nah, bruh. Nah. Yeah. <laughs> Fix it again. It's wrong. So, we are going to have our front door somewhere. Oh, you know what? This could be the front door, couldn't it? No, because we would never get up here. Where do you want the front door to be? I'm trying to think where it was in our last... Do the, in our last one, the front door is right here. Somewhere. Yeah. I guess we could put it right here, then. Perfect. That is fabulous. Wait, 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 wait. That don't bug you that there's going to be a door here, but not a door on this side? Nope. Oh. Uh, oh. So does it bug you that you have five blocks over there for the door, and this is four blocks? It's one off. No, it, it's it's one, two, three, four. Yeah, but right here there's one, two, three, four, five. Yeah. But you put that block back. Wait. <laughs> That's an easy fix. There you go. Okay, now that... And still, yet yeah, now your door is going to be uneven. It won't be smacked down in the middle. Dang, you made me lose that block forever. <laughs> I mean, our door ain't going to be uneven. What are you talking about? Fabulous. We're going to have a double door. Because we're rich. That's what we had on the other one. <laughs> Now that better be four by four. One, two, three. Nope. One, two, three. Oh, thank you, Lord. Okay. Whew. Uh, this this place is gonna look nice. We also we are going to have another door here. Totally not uneven. Yeah, not at all. We won't have to have double doors there to make it even. I don't think it is uneven. One, two, three, four. Nope. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three, <laughs> four, five. Man, that was never uneven. I don't know what anybody else is talking We're about. We're just going to have one door. Uh, because screw having two doors. And we're going to have windows and whatnot, too. So... I really don't want to Okay, let's let's get rid of these mobs and let's go to bed. You worry about the skeleton. Oh, oh, there's two spiders. I'll worry about the spiders. Yeah, I'm good at killing skeletons. I'm obviously good at killing spiders. I'm good at killing anything that walks. <laughs> <laughs> See, I didn't say stuff that flies. I said stuff that walks. Yes, guys, look at this. The foundation. Actually, this doesn't look that bad. The only bad thing is, is on our house. I'm going to show you real quick what, it, what I mean. Uh, So, what I know for a fact on our house, what I did, because I'm awesome and I'm cute and sexy. I get all the ladies. No, no, okay. Uh, what I did, since I just got completely ignored, um, <laughs> grab some of that. So, hey Bailey. Yes. That dirt. Do we have any more of that? Uh, uh. We used every bit of it. Fire. I, got, I put cobblestone in one of the chests. I think there's like nine blocks. You're welcome to it. <laughs> ah! I need to make a shovel. <laughs> that, 
post has exited the game. I need to make a, a shovel real quick. You might have to just rejoin. Uh. Oh, that's right, because I'm on pure offline. Give me one second. And it took it a while for it to realize that I put myself back on the pure offline. Yeah, I'll need an invite. Yep. Give me one second while I put myself back online. Let, let, let Red Demon put itself back online. And then, then send you an invite. There you go. Thank you. Sir. You're welcome. You're welcome, welcome, welcome. And the new beginning of the world. It seems like Minecraft got eaten by a squirrel. But the world will never know because we were ruined. When a truck flipped us off on the highway. I don't know if that's a natural real song, but it is now. <laughs> Licensed by Bradley. You're gonna get flagged for copyright. <laughs> Mother truckers better not flag me. <laughs> <laughs> it's my song. How much sand do you think we're gonna need? Uh, Cause I went ahead and gathered some sand to make glass. Cause I know we had a lot of glass on our other house. I mean, a lot. I mean, I don't know if we're going to make the second floor or not. Do you want a second floor or no? Well, I mean, if you think about it, we actually had three levels on our other house. We had the basement. The, you know, your first floor and your second floor was just our room. And still yet, our second floor was mainly open space. It was never really actually used. So I don't have a. I don't see why we need a second floor, really. If that makes sense. Yeah, what about you guys? Y'all want a second floor? You leave a comment now if you want a second floor. I mean, we could have seven floors. I mean, it is a thing. It would be something new. Make it all in one. A seven floors oh. of uh, dark oak wood. <laughs> Hey, right behind you, behind oh, you. Oh, yeah, he's my boyfriend. <laughs> I did not just throw him at you. It's, it's fine, he did. Oh. He, he, he's dead. Yeah, me, right, we I'm, got... I'm putting the sand and the dirt in the chest. No, put the sand in the furnace where we can start having glass. Alright, switching over. We're gonna make this place look fabulous. I got my uh, uh, that. I mean. See, I, I tried to carry two of everything on me, and I totally blank space and didn't build any shovels before going down there and getting sand. Yeah, I immediately built shovels just to be able to get more dirt. I didn't like make our back area know. look horribly stupid by doing what I did. Alright, so now then, what I did in our old one is we also had this awesome little type of little overdawning over the head. I don't know what they call it. Like a little porch. A patio? I guess they call it a patio. Or a deck, whatever you want to call I, it. No, it's definitely not a deck. We don't live on a ship. No, like, like when I was working construction, when somebody wanted like, like what you're building right now, we call that a deck. Yep, that's incorrect. My front deck. You should have told your boss that was incorrect because a deck actually means for like ships and stuff like that. Well, same with how my boss was my dad, and he told me that I should never disagree with him because he's been doing it <laughs> 30 years. That's how you know he was wrong. <laughs> <laughs> and if he says that, you definitely know it. No, I mean, everybody gives it a different term. My mom calls it a bork. So. <laughs> everybody gives it a different term. But I call it the douche. 
speaking of the douche. You know what? Huh. I don't know. I just wanted to see if you actually answered. How much dirt do you need? Uh, I got like well, I don't need no more now. <laughs> I done and fixed. I done uh, did what I had to do. I did it. Look what I mined. <laughs> Look what I did over here. Look at the damage. I, I mean, if you want to keep, if you want to level this out, where I could build the, oh no, I'm gonna build an automatic farm. Yeah, kind of level this part, or no, not this part. Oh, oh man, we really didn't build this on a little flat area. <laughs> no, we didn't. We chose to build this on the hill, guys. Make sure you give a like on this video. If you're new, make sure you click that subscribe button. Also, don't forget to follow me on uh, Google Plus, since that's still all around. I'm surprised it hasn't died yet. Who that? Who, who even uses Google Plus anymore? I don't even know what Google Plus is. Bullcrap! So. Don't lie. No, like I know what, like uh, like my Google account. I know what that is. You know what Google Plus is because you have to use a Google account to be able to make a YouTube an account. Oh, is that all it is? I, it's just a Google. Account? Google is just like Facebook, like. Wait, so when you make an account on Google, it's called Google Plus. Yep. Uh, so yeah, I honestly didn't know that. I just call it my Google account. Yep. It automatically links up to your Google, like a Google Plus account. Hmm. And Google was trying to get in the, you know, the field of like Facebook. And then Instagram came around, and then uh, all other social media started copying each other. I mean, honestly, it's just really kind of annoying because yet. Yeah, yeah, I mean, if you think about it, like you just said, you, they copy each it, other. There's nothing new. To no, them. all of them are basically the same. Every single one of them are literally the same. Why do you think the Vine got shut down? At the what? Vine. Oh, like those little complications people make, like the baby laughing and stuff. Yep. The one that, oh, okay. I believe it was Facebook that bought them out. Was it Facebook? I can't remember who bought them out. Someone bought them out and immediately got rid of the Vine because it, it basically it was just copying, copying Facebook. Everything, all social media that you see now, guys, is copied by Facebook. It really is. I mean, Instagram. It was, Instagram wasn't nothing. It wasn't a thing. It wasn't even around when Facebook was around. Facebook was already out. Immediately copies, boom. MySpace copied Facebook. They immediately get shut down and they changed their name to Very Racist. For a while. Remember that? Mm-mm. I don't follow anything, I just... Facebook, or not Facebook, but MySpace, <laughs> MySpace used to be called MySpace, and for a while they called themselves the Blackface, and then they went back to calling themselves MySpace, but now I don't think it's called anything anymore. Uh, huh, that's actually interesting. Yeah, it, it went racist for a little while. I think it, I think it got hacked, and then, uh... When I got hacked, someone purposely did that because they're an idiot and they thought it was funny. And I guess back then it was kind of funny, but it's not funny because MySpace died real quickly. I'm sorry, MySpace came and it was gone. <laughs> Dude, Tumblr died for me. I used to have Tumblr, and uh, after I started getting on it, and I seen all the stuff that I seen the dark side of Tumblr. Tumblr. Like I couldn't search nothing without without some uh nudity. Very adult things on there, yeah, pretty much. Some uh some of those hot nice action. No, like I used to follow something called Cosmetic Cosmos. Oh, you're a sick. And freak. all it did was take pictures of outer space at first, and then all I'm gonna say is. Mass Effect got mixed into some very, very bad cosplay. Oh, yeah, that that happens on Facebook, too. They copied that from Facebook. Yeah, I, I try to stay away from that stuff because I have, you know, family on Facebook. I had family on Tumblr. I mean, you can't really stay away from it. 
Honestly, it just comes back. Dude, I'm really liking how I got all these windows. <laughs> right? Dude, that's what I meant. Like, on our other one, we had a crap ton of windows. I don't know if we had this many, but we had a lot of windows, and it looked really good. I mean, look, it actually does look decent having this many windows. It makes it feel like we have lighting. And, and yes, eventually I am going to make this clear glass where we can see out of it, but for now. And we are going to be doing, like, special stuff. Like, if you know, once, say, for example, Christmas starts coming, the the carpet will change. There will be a Christmas tree. The, gla the glass things will change. Man, I used to go all out on that, didn't I, in our other world? Like, off, just mine and, my, mine and Bailey's oh world, we, we always went all out. It was just, I've always just went all out. He'd always ask me, why do you do that? And I'm like, eh, just uh, getting into the spirit. In Minecraft. I, well, the ironic thing is, is me and you actually became friends on the PlayStation 4. Because I was, you, you and one of your friends were live streaming, and... I just happened to be looking at the live stream, and I was like, oh, hey, can I play? And you guys were doing a Christmas special, and I helped you guys build a Christmas tree. Yeah, I remember that. I mean, guys, you, you know, you can meet me very well. And, you know, sometimes I'll be nice. Oh, wait, what am I talking about? I'm always nice. <laughs> you, you don't think so? I like how you said that. You, <laughs> no, I like how you said that. <laughs> <laughs> this is going to look so good. So many windows. <laughs> Just the thing I like. Me and you actually got this built pretty quick. This is like, what, the third Minecraft day when the sun rises? Well, yeah. Well, I'm kind of trying to get the outlining of the, like where I want the windows and stuff done. I'm just kind of kind of guessing at it I think I will put I'm not gonna put another door God, I always keep doing that cuz this has like a little gap away so what I'm gonna do right here I'm gonna do like some type of fancy type window uh, I did not mean to do that I think that's gonna look decent. Oh, you know what I should have done? Good. Hold on. This is what I should have done. Where's the middle on this? Right here, right? <laughs> well, seeing how we have double doors back here, I couldn't tell you where the middle is gonna be at. Right there, because 3 3. Boop, boom. So where the doors would be, because maybe later on in the future we'll probably add a door there. That's why I did that. Oh wow, I have actually r really like all these windows. That's a lot of we're constantly gonna be spied on. <laughs> Picture this with that automatic light system that you made for our potion house. Oh my God, how much work did that take? Not very much actually. God, they got that done pretty quickly. Yeah, it took, with the resources we gather, I think it took us maybe an hour, just because we gathered resources, because we didn't have it. Alright. Oh, no, I didn't want to do that. I wanted to move the bed. Oh. Yeah, we can always put a floor in there later. I mean, for now, it looks hecka cool. This could be, like, the sleeping area, like our old one was. Remember, it was always in the... In the corner. There are monsters nearby. You cannot rest now. <sighs> what? There ain't no monsters nearby. Your character's just really fucked up. Yeah, because I sealed that below us so that that way nothing could spawn. That was a pretty big hole. <laughs> I'm walking around and looking now. Yeah, not all of them are going to be double windows. Like the room area. It's not really going to be double window. Are you able to lay in your bed now? I was always label, able to lay in my bed. Dang. 
All right, hold on, let me try it again. I just found the skeleton. Yeah, I like how the room doesn't get double windows right here. Oh, there we go. Oh, you're sleeping. Oh, yeah. Oh, look at that beautiful window, man. Look at that. Still working on a house. You, you know it's sad. Hmm. It actually takes them this long to build a house. It takes them a lot longer to build a house, actually. Oh, yeah. I've done it, so I know how long it takes. They like to be slow at it, that's why. Um, <clears throat> they always make up an excuse. Oh, it's raining. Can't work this day. That depends on what you're doing. <laughs> like, honestly, tell me the truth. You worked on a house, correct? Yeah, building on I've, I've built houses before from bottom Do they top. personally take their time? Well, I mean, if you, because we always estimate how long it's going to take, and, like, we estimated a two-story house is going to take three months. It's, it can't take me longer than three months, but you don't want to finish before the three months because that just, it really, it messed you out of some money. But on the days, like, like how you just said, when it's raining, inside work, if there's a roof on the house and everything already, and you're just putting, like, electrical wires in the wall and stuff, there's no reason you couldn't work if you're doing mud work on the inside of the house. But, if, but now if you're on the outside of the house and you're trying to put, like, metal on the roof, you can't work in the rain. Um, Y'all hear that, right? Guys, so if you're ever going to get a custom house build, they're going to try to get every dime they can from you. Every dime so make well not every dime we just oh like i said you don't ever want to be late if you say this is going to take three months well it better take three months then again i don't know anybody who took a three uh that long to build a i have two-story mansions it, uh no even a two-story house my aunt my aunt when she got her two two-story house it took them six months to build it well they screwed her <laughs> well Unless they're unless they're in contract, yeah. If they're in contracting, then that's probably why. Because they because if you're in contracting, like because I did some, what you do is one day you work on one job, the next day you work on a different job, and it just switches back and forth until the job's done. Yeah, that's what this that's what they kept doing. But with her, the reason why they took a little bit longer is because she wasn't she had to be there, and she pickies all get out. So it, it slowed Ooh, them down. Yeah, we had those customers. It slowed them down big time because originally they said it was going to take them four months to get it done. And yeah, she just kept changing stuff at random moments. So they had to destroy it and rebuild it. I mean, you know, her money she's losing, but whatever. Dude, I kid you not. Honestly, I worked for this really old couple. They were like in their 80s and I was helping my dad with the house and uh, we were building this from top to bottom almost I mean the framework was already done and all that you know you already had the, the whole building was already square everything Yeah. we just had to do some inside work this house I kid you not was legitly empty there was nothing in it carpet was just freshly put down tiles all that Nice. The couple did not want us going in the house by ourselves because they were afraid we'd steal something. Mind you that this house is empty. There's not one thing in well, there. Well, you honestly you can't blame them. They're old. And I mean, they hired us and then told you, us that we, we can't be there without them because they're afraid we might steal something. And by law, you have to <laughs> follow that rule. I know, dude. It sucks too sometimes. Would you? I mean, I get somebody. Honestly, would you? Uh, would you blame them? I mean, I don't know. Like it didn't make us mad or nothing. I mean, hey, why'd you miss that block over there? Because that's where I gotta put a I gotta put the oak wood, regular oak wood there. Oh, are you out? Yeah. Oh, I'll go get some. I need a, I need a quite more because this roof is gonna be way too small. But I tell you what, dude, I would rather work for an old couple than like. A couple that's in their 20s because old people that are, that we worked for were the sweetest people they're the most patient if you accidentally mess something up and if you were honest about it like one of the couples we worked for they said that's okay it's a learning experience yeah as long as you fix the mistake but we, yeah 
I mean, they didn't have to pay for it or nothing because it was, you know, my mistake. But um, we worked for this uh, like other couple. I probably say they're like in their twenties. They look they looked really young. They actually cussed me out and didn't want me on the job because I messed up an electrical outlet. They honestly that was an easy fix. I accidentally bent the wire. Uh, okay, let me let me explain something to y'all guys. Whenever someone comes out to build your custom house. They're not specialized in electricity. They're not specialized in AC. They're just not. They're not there to do your AC, your electrical. So whenever you get a house custom build, mm -mm. most big companies are going to tell you, we do not do electrical. We do not do anything that does with AC and heating. So you would have to hire an electrical. And this is what you do. You allow the workers to get done with the frame, all the framework. Once they get done building a house frame, itself and it's got like a roof over it then you call out electrical why the walls are still down you want to call out electrical while all the walls are still down because if you end up calling them while the walls are built they're gonna have to destroy some of your walls just to be able to you're lagging so hardcore no i'm not what do you mean you still there man yeah i'm still here Hello? Right. What's wrong, Bailey? What's wrong with Bailey? Red demon. What's wrong with Red Bailey? Uh, can you hear me, man? Yeah, I can hear you. Oops. Hello? <laughs> Patriot. Uh-oh. I think Bailey just, like, lagged out. Bailey, what's going on with you, man? Why do you keep calling my name and not answering? I can barely hear you, man. You're you're really lagged out. I can't understand what you're saying. It might be your internet. Let me see. Uh, I'm not losing no frame. Oh, there you go. There you go. I can hear you. Wait, is your internet just choking over there? I don't know. Like you were talking okay, and then all of a sudden you just started lagging out, and it kept going like up, up. Oh, and it just kept cutting in and out like that, and then you just quit talking. Period. Well, that's because I was now I'm sitting here saying hello, hello. Ding, dude. That, now you might have to do internet tests on your freaking router. Uh, I told you, man. My internet company sucks. Like, I will never purchase internet from them again once I switch internet. <laughs> like ours actually does fantastic, running at a hundred megs constantly. See, that's not mine. Mine would be lucky on a good day to hit 100. I mean, it'd have to be a rare lucky day. Anyways. Yeah, just make sure you hire electrical and stuff like that. Uh, Right when right when they get done doing the outside work. Because once they get done doing the, the outside work. Because they start... Most people don't know this, but they actually start from the outside in. So... Most people think they start from the inside out, and that would be wrong. Because they know that you're going to have to contact electrical. They know that you're going to have to contact... We're talking about fully build new custom houses. We're not talking about something that's getting small work done. Uh, there's just a lot that you do. And yes, you will be losing a lot of money when it's said and done. Because electricians can charge you however much they want. And... Make sure you read a contract because you have to have a contract with all businesses. Make sure you read that contract before you sign because some of them might be out there to scam your butt like no tomorrow. Oh yeah, yeah. there's quite a few of them around here that try to do that. Uh, are you one of them? Uh, no, I'm not in the construction business no more. I mean, I'll be honest with you. I, I, I can't do a lot of stuff like... I can't square a building by myself because I'm, I'm still a greenhorn on a lot of stuff, which means that I'm still new to it. I can just do the simple stuff like put on siding, put on metal on a roof. I can shingle a roof. I can do plumbing. Electrical, I'm still learning. But Electrical is easy. Quite a bit. Well, that's because uh, I've done it before so many times. I'm talking about... I can't hook up live wires like my like my dad. Oh, yeah. He can he can run live wires from an electric pole and hook them up and or not from an electric pole but 
You know what, fucking the breaker box? Yeah, it's pretty easy. He can hook, up, he can hook him into the uh, breaker box without getting shocked. I'd, I'd kill myself. I don't recommend, guys that uh, that are watching this, I don't recommend you actually go to try to do that. Because the people, uh -uh. even know that he knows, if even though you know what you're absolutely doing, you're still putting your life in danger because all it takes is one little spark. How's it already getting dark in this game? All it takes is one little spark from that from that electrical box because that electrical box is holding who knows how much power that you got running through that electrical box. It depends on how much power you're paying to get running through it. Uh, most electrical box, boxes are carrying enough to basically stop your heart. Let's put it that way. And all it takes is one small little spark, you know, to basically do the job. And also electrical uh, electrical outlets are very flammable. So try not to cause a fire at the same time. Because <laughs> electrical fires are one of the hardest fires to put out. Um, you want to hear a funny story? Go for it. All right, my uncle... He's kind of one of them guys. He's a know-it-all. If it's not done his way, he don't like it. So, uh, oh no. He was sitting there running his mouth to me and my dad because we were hooking up his electricity for him. We had to, we had to put in a new breaker box for him, mm -hmm. and he said we were gonna make it short out. No, we didn't make it short out. We had it hooked up in there right. Shorty didn't like it. That's that Shorty is his nickname, not his real name. But um, we got doing all that. Got it all hooked up in there for him, and he decided to pull the wires that hooked from the utility pole to the mobile home because he didn't have enough room for him. He didn't like how tight we had them. Well, they're supposed to be tight. And, uh, <laughs> hold on. He decided to go back out to the utility pole, shut the electric off, and do it himself. He came back in, and we asked him what he did, and he shut the electric off. He's like, I'm going to pull them wires. We're like, okay, but you're going to make it short. You'll cut the wire. Sure enough. He cut the wire, and he had me go flip that electric pull back on. No. And all I hear is, kaboom, in the house. And, you know, I mean, it sounded like somebody shot a shotgun right next to my ear. I walk back in there, and my dad's laughing. He's like, go shut it off, go shut it off. He shorted it out. <laughs> he blew up his breaker box. He breaker box he just bought. He blew it up. And those damn things, <laughs> those things are very expensive. Holy cow, because you have to have a oh, specialist yeah. come out, because from that point, you have to have a specialist come out and do it, and they will charge you up the butt. You... Oh, no, like, he didn't, like, physically blow the breaker box out of the wall. He just blew the lid open, and he he screwed all, all of his all he's uh, gotta, breakers. All he's got to do is go up to, like, Home Depot, buy a new door, or even just buy a new... Uh, casing is what they I think I'm gonna call it a casing but there's a proper name for it uh, like, he can just go out and buy a new casing and now fuses are very expensive those fuses every single breaker yeah, fuse breakers. they're very expensive because I had to get a new one done for mine okay so on ours when we first moved into this house they uh, companies are known to do this guys this is another reason why you really gotta watch out for electrical companies whenever they're installing your electrical power because they're known to do this they'll sometimes rig like the laundry room and the kitchen all on one breaker you don't want that done Ooh, nope. because it can cause your breaker to constantly flick uh, sadly but surely uh, I don't think the electric company did this to our house uh, or to this house I think the person that owned it whenever my aunt bought it from them the person that owned it i think he did read i think he redid some of the breakers and he fudged up and put my room with the lawn with the my room with the uh garage right so that means if someone turns on anything in the garage it would immediately cause my room to cause my breaker to flick it immediately shut off the garage and that that's because the that one small breaker, say if it's say if it's like 20 watts, right? And you're using more than 20 watts, which the what the the safety feature is for it to shut itself off to prevent your house pulling too much power and causing that breaker to basically explode. Because if a breaker ever explodes, you're dead. Uh, everybody in your house is pretty much dead. Because one, the explosion's not gonna kill you. It's gonna be the fire that's gonna kill you. Because it's gonna be quick. 
but they ended up doing that. So I had to go out to solve this problem because I'm not a specialist when it comes towards messing with breaker. Because basically this whole house needs to be rewired. And that's expensive. I already called $25,000. It's just the lowest they charge. Uh, that doesn't include them with insurance wise and blah, 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 blah. 25000 is how much for them to come out to basically rewire this house. Because they're going to have to basically destroy walls and replace the walls. So, it's it's expensive. <laughs> but uh, I went out and bought a bigger breaker. So, I bought one that had more power. You know, so you got to be careful of that too. Because some it doesn't just work like that, guys. You don't just go out and buy a bigger fuse. It doesn't work like that sometimes. Sometimes breaker boxes are designed to pull that amount of power only. So buying a new breaker could be just a... Or buying a new fuse could just be a waste of money. Because maybe your breaker box is only allowed to pull so much. <laughs> so you, you really got to watch out. But uh, I ended up going out buying... Uh, a bigger breaker that's designed you know how because you know how there's the small ones which are the little bitty ones is a single and then you have the bigger ones which are like a double like it's two, two of the small ones combined but bigger so that's what i yeah, a 110 and a 220. yeah that's what i ended up doing i don't i went out because mine was on the small one i went out and bought a bigger one now see i had to remodify the breaker box because it, it it was only designed for one small slot, you know, right there in that spot. So I had to kind of modify it a little bit. So we had to go out and buy a new casing and basically just kind of rewrite what every breaker was. We kind of did it ourselves. Most of the time you want to get a professional to come out and do all this because they'll instantly know by just looking at the breakers, which one goes to which. Uh, and they can also tell you what you can do to fix any issues uh with like if you're losing power out of one house they could tell you exactly what you can do to uh, fix that problem but uh we ended up doing it ourselves, and we ended up fixing that issue with with the uh breaker uh going on a flips every time because you don't want that breaker constantly flipping guys that's not really good for you because one it ruins the fuse but two it also ruins the the lines that go through the walls and stuff like that like the power cords and stuff that run through the wall it ruins that also when the power goes to flip like that because it's not it's not what you're thinking it's not like a safe a safety shut off like where it doesn't real safe it's immediately cut out and what that means is it cuts all power to those lines immediately instantly and uh it it can damage those cords and sometimes it can cause them to melt so yeah, be careful and the reason why i know that is because i've been around people that did electrical and you know they kind of told me the basics and stuff like that now i'm not going to sit there and say oh i could rewire a whole entire house because i'll be lying out of my butt i am not going to rewire all if you don't know what you're doing yeah you're gonna screw something up like i couldn't rewire a whole house by myself no i couldn't either i would have to have someone with me to keep you know to keep eyes on like i'd have to keep eyes on what you're doing eyes on what i'm doing to make sure you know everything's going correctly because it takes one fudge up and then you have to redo the whole entire project or sometimes it will be your last day on earth And y'all can laugh about that all you want, but it, it could legitly be your last day on earth if you mess up. So try, uh oh, try not to mess up. What? None. <clears throat> Did you just broke my stone pickaxes that I was making them mine? This, this house is coming along so, so, slowly. It's starting to look good though, so far. We're getting a roof, a high roof, which means we can now build it upstairs if we really need to. Or we could just have a really high roof. I love high roofs. I love high roofs. I don't know why. I just love them. I think it's because it makes me feel like I have more room in my house. And too, because I'm really freaking tall. <laughs> so that plays an effect. Um, being 6'1 is not, it's no fun. 
people think it's cool to be tall honestly it's not it's it's not really good because i i had to get you have to get certain things custom made so like all my clothes that i get back in the old days i'm that, back when i was a kid i <laughs> uh, no, i had to get some of my clothes custom made depending on what type of clothing they are uh and most of the times, like my blue jeans and stuff, I don't really have to get custom made because thank you, Lord, that uh, the people that make blue jeans actually make all sorts of sizes. And they make the right sizes and the right height. Now, if you're like 6'5 or something like that, yeah, you're going to have to go to like a store that constantly has to custom make your clothes. Because <laughs> sadly, but surely they don't make them that, that long. They don't sell clothes that long at stores. You have to go to Big and Tall. Even Big and Tall, well, I don't think they sell it like right off the shelf. I think you have to have them custom made. I feel bad for the uh, basketball player, basketball player that's really 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 tall because he had it. He has to get his car custom made because he's so freaking tall, <laughs> and that's expensive alone. Because he even sat there and said he'll never do it again. And someone being that rich and they're sitting there saying they're never getting that done again. You could tell it was very expensive. <laughs> but some rich people don't. This mine stinks. <laughs> Dude, our house is going to be dark. At I just started mining downwards and I can't find squats. I found a lot of cobblestone. How to make wood stronger. Just keep doing like crisscross and waving them it'll make wood strong don't actually take that as a theory because that's that's not how it really works <laughs> guys they're it, starting to make everybody question your advice <laughs> it's like no don't don't do that the way they build houses is they use very special wood they use wood that can i like i, I like using oak uh, oak wood oak wood's freaking strong when it ages yeah but it's weak as all get out when it's fresh oh yeah when it's when it's fresh it you, you know it's still it cuts really hard or it's really hard to nail into but when it hardens oh the the only bad thing though i don't think companies really use oak wood to build houses anymore i don't know i know they use some type of wood that's dipped I don't think so. it's dipped in the chemical it's purple wood Y'all need to search it up. It's legitly purple wood. Yes, it's fireproof. That's why. It's fireproof, waterproof, and it's stronger than regular wood, which makes no sense. You're you, you're you're just like, what do you mean it's stronger than regular wood? It is wood. Yeah, it is wood, but it's dipped in some type of chemical that makes that wood basically a lot a longer lasting. I'm not gonna say infinite because that would be a lie because I, you know, nothing's infinite. Longer lasting. It's really weird. Give it a search. Like, uh, it's it's purple, and that's the thing that gets me. It's it's purple. I've never heard of this. So yeah, I'm definitely. Go up to Home Depot. Later. If you ever go up to Home Depot or Lowe's, look for it. Mm -hmm. It it creeped me out because that's where I found it. I was up there at Home Depot, and uh, and this is when we used to live in. Irving before we moved to where we're at now. Uh, well, when we lived out there in Irving, I was sitting there telling my dad, I was like, uh, we, need to, we need to redo one of the walls because my dumb self put a hole through the wall. But it was big enough to basically replace the whole sheetrock. Well, my dumb self also broke a piece of board that was in there also. So we had to replace that one piece of board, and you don't Probably three by four. You, you you don't just replace one piece of board. No, it doesn't work like that. You have to pull out that whole entire frame right there and then replace it. That's how it worked. Really? Yeah, in that house because it was an older. That's not how we did it here at all. <laughs> like over the, uh since it was an older house that's been around for years and it doesn't it's not part of the new coding or new guy uh, the house coding or whatever they call it of nowadays, where it's just simple to replace it. Mm -hmm. 
uh, back then, uh, they, they just built them. There was really no coding back then. It's like, yeah, just do it this way and you'll be good. So, you know, some parts will be 16, uh, some, the, the two main, uh, main beams, that's what I call them, or studs, you can call them. Sometimes they'll be 6 feet away, sometimes they'll be 16 feet away, sometimes they'll be 20. Here in, the, here in the state of Texas, they're 6 feet away on newer houses. 6 feet. Older houses, they're usually about 12 feet away. Or not, am I saying feet? Inches. Is it feet or inches? No, it's right. Feet, right? 12 feet. Of inches. Um, I don't know. I've never heard of them uh, being. I'm looking it up. You know, gap, like, uh, I'm looking it up. Yeah. Yep. Yep. 16. 16. Okay. Is inches. So it's either 12 inches away or 16 inches or 6 inches away. So anything. That's only like a foot gap, though. That, that sounds a lot better. Like every foot, it sounds a lot better to make a truss. Yeah. That's what you're talking about. It's on the ceilings. It's called a truss. Well, no, I'm talking about on the sidewalls, not the ceiling itself. Ceiling's different. Oh, uh, You know the main beams, okay? They call them studs that go on the sidewall that, mm -hmm. you know, they mainly... I might just be confused because I'm tired. I I have to... Because <laughs> I looked it up, and I'm not 100% sure, but it does say on some homes that they're 16... They're 6 feet... Some of them are six feet, some of them are twelve feet, and then it says nowadays newer homes, like brand speaking newer homes, are about six inches and in, then in, in, uh or twelve inches away, which I don't think it's twelve or six. Huh. It, I honestly I can't remember. Actually, I could look at my wall and tell you. It's about. Yeah, like I said, I'm a greenhorn, so a lot of this stuff I, I don't know by heart. I I used to. That's why I had to look it up to make sure I'm right. So it's one of those. You could search it up for yourself and y'all can get the right one. It's one of those. Uh, so ours was far. It was like, I don't want to say inches cause I'm not, or feet because I'm not sure. But it, it was too far. You know, the main beam was way far from each other. I think, I think it was like 19 or something like that away from each other. And that's far. You, 19 inches? Yeah. 19. I think it was 19. Yeah, 19 inches. Or, it has to be inches because feet, that would be one big house. Uh, so that's a foot and seven in, inch difference from each that's, other. That's then. pretty far because those main beams are what's holding the house weight. <laughs> and if they're too far from each other, that means one of the beams is having too much weight put onto it, which can cause it to eventually snap or give out which can be very bad because it yeah, calls right. it'll cause your house to kind of half of your house to kind of crumble down sometimes it could take the whole house with it depends it was scary hmm. but we ended up getting it getting it fixed and the landlord got all mad about it he's like oh you were supposed to do that you went against you went against your contract blah 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 and i was like dude the people that built this house a long time ago it needs to be up to date. It needs to be up to code. Cause I'm surprised he threw a fit about that. Cause he could actually get in trouble because if it's not up to to conduct, and he's, and in he's the the landlord, so I'm guessing state of Texas, wise. in the state of Texas, it doesn't matter if your house is old or not. Uh, in the state of Texas, there is no law that's in effect of how far they need to be. Now that's that's the sad thing, you know. There there is that. Well, I shouldn't say there isn't. There is, but it's not technically enforced on older homes because if they're old, if they're already old, and they last as long as they did, what's the point? Most people will sit there and say, "What's the point getting them updated?" I would recommend it if you have the money, you have spare money, or if you want to start putting money towards the side to get it kind of up to code. I would recommend you do. Because you never know. But it's cheaper just to get your own home custom made by that point. If you're if you're willing to update your house and you wanted to get it up to cold, it's cheaper, guys, just to custom build your home than it would be getting it up to date. I'm telling you that right now. And I know that for a fact. Because, ooh, hoo, hoo. I've done it so many times. Well, I didn't do it. I personally didn't do it, but I know people that have. 
and they'll t and they'll straight up tell you that they they screwed up. They just wish they bought a, a got a custom house made instead. Where where are you? oh never mind. I'm working on the roof I still. You. I mean I I'm 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 Bob the Builder. Bob the Builder. <laughs> I don't know where I got that from, but sure. I think it used to be a kid show. All right. Uh, I got something for you. If it's not diamonds, jump off a cliff. Well, <laughs> I just threw 64 torches down and I got iron smelting for our buckets, but okay. <laughs> hey, he didn't call them metal. I know, dude. I sit there all night practicing that. I threw this torches right are you, this corner down Are you here. serious? You actually stayed up all night to practice? Just saying that. Iron, iron, no, not all iron, iron. You know what I meant. Iron, iron. I'm getting bored saying this a lot. Iron, 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 iron. Then you start having a stroke. Iron, no, iron, no, iron, no, iron, no. iron, iron. Sorry, I just made fun of a stroke, which you should never do. <laughs> I didn't even realize that. That's horrible. You're, yeah, you're, you're burning for, for that. I'm sorry. If you have a stroke, it's not my fault. Um. That's even more horrible. Not really, because anyone could get it, which sucks. Anyone can have a stroke at any moment. You could be hydrated as all get out, and you can have a stroke. Why is the stroke happened? Because most of the time you're dehydrated. I don't know why it happens, honestly. It seems like, yeah, it seems like just about anything can lead to a, it, a stroke if or you're, a heart attack and. All that stuff. Well, the the thing that okay, so the highest thing that's killing people in the world right now is heart disease. Like that's the number one thing that's killing people. And the reason why that's happening, and most people ain't gonna believe this, the reason why that's happening is because they're not paying attention to uh, how they're eating correctly. And most people think, no, it's not how you eat, man. You know, you blah blah blah. blah. It actually really does affect how you eat, cause if you go out and you go to a store, or no, no, because stores, you can actually pay attention to what type of stuff that you want. If you go out and you go to, I don't know, say, fast food places every day, three times a day, all right, that's going to take a big drag on your body. All right, this is what's going to happen. You're going to eat. You're going to enjoy it, because who doesn't enjoy fast food? But you're going to enjoy it. But your body's not. Uh, your body depends on a little bit of everything that might be on the pyramid of food. You know, it depends on bread. It depends on... And yes, you can get a hamburger and most of it's right there. But doing that every day, your body's going to finally give up. And what happens is, is whenever you eat fat, fat food, fatty food is what they usually call it. But honestly, all food are fatty, so... You know what? What what can you really do? Uh, your body will start collecting what they call uh, uh, what is it? Plaque, I guess, within the heart and stuff. And then it go. Basically, what happens is if one gets, if one just gets away, just one, you're screwed. All right, because what's going to end up happening. Is you're gonna die from heart attack. And you can die from a simple heart attack, but if you have like heart history that runs through the family, yet yeah, you're screwed. Your days are marked, uh, which sucks because sadly but surely I've learned that heart history runs through my family big time. And you recently, and Bailey's a witness to this. Recently, I did go to a heart doctor multiple times. And the reason why I went to the heart doctor is because our family has such a high risk of heart disease or heart attacks, heart not keeping a correct beat uh, or correct rhythm beat, which I don't know what they classified as. Uh, it's very scary. So I went to go get checked because I started having like severe chest pain and you never want to have that problem because chest pain sucks. 
thank you, Lord, that it wasn't anything that had to deal with the heart. They just believe it could be my collarbone. Because they ran all the tests as everything came back up positive. They mean negative? Well, they, they say positive, meaning everything came back up good. Nothing came, nothing came up alarming. Uh, the one thing they really, the one thing they really wanted to, uh, for me to do is go in and see a, a, a doctor that, or a specialist for acid reflux. I don't know what they're called, but whoever deals with acid reflux, they want me to go in to see a specialist for that because they say, uh, they're sitting there saying whenever you get chest pain it can also be caused through the acid basically traveling up through your through your your, your oh my god they gave it a technical term but through your freaking lungs tubes and whatnot acid will kind of start coming up towards where you taste that nasty bitter taste in your mouth uh they call it severe acid reflex and that can actually kill you too supposedly so <laughs> Uh, another thing I gotta go get looked at. <laughs> Everything you do is made to kill you, man. Your body is basically just a bomb tick. Bailey's like, this is interesting. Just Brad mumbling his mouth about people dying. <laughs> oh no, I'm. I got. I like I said. I gotta watch what I do. Because oh hold on before you start doing everything hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on hold on I got some for you here you go this is the bucket oh no 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 I got one more thing for you hold on hold on hold on hold still hold still dun, dun. Da -da. and this is called the edge <laughs> I wonder how many people just got shook I'm shook. Oh my god. First we wait, wasn't this sheep just a gray sheep? How the foop did you just turn into a white sheep? What are you smoking, bro? Wait, where are you going? Hold on, I'm talking to you. I'm talking to your dumb face. Oh, uh, I might have an interview tomorrow. That would be great. Maybe invite me. Oh, uh, no, it's not for I get uh, emails from Low every time they have something. Low. Yeah, lo lo Lowe's like the okay. the store. I thought you were talking about Low as in like a an AC company. Oh no. Because I know a company that's named the same thing, but it's an AC company. Where's the crap? Oh, that makes more sense. I'm moving everything inside the freaking <laughs> house. Because we have a house now. I, I totally didn't blank space and lose it for a minute. I mean... You agree, right? We got a house now. So what's the point having everything yeah, out there? Yeah, so... And then, yes guys, we're going to build a separate room for chess. A separate building like we did last time. Technically, we could build it in here, couldn't we? I think we could. I don't want our house feeling empty like it already feels. Dude, this is a big roof. I really love the roof from the inside. Look at that. It's like even as all get out. It's got the letter T in the middle. Or somewhat of a cross. That the top part just got eaten by the devil himself. Um, stupid devil ruined everything. Oh, yes. Oh, yeah, I made hash slabs, right? You know, one thing that's honestly going to bug me is we should make the chest room in the basement area. Because if, if we make a chest room in here, well, we just blocked all the windows. So making all that glass and everything and putting all that effort in was pointless. I hate when Bailey comes up with something that's true. <laughs> well, I'm just sitting here thinking, like, I've just been kind of pillaging, letting you build the house while I went and gathered supplies. 
He's, he's, he's always on everything, and then I just realized he's that. always got to crush my dream. Oh, I'm just kidding. I'm the dream crusher. I mean, here's the bad thing. You know what's underneath our house? A, that. I don't the know. cave system. All right. Why do you think I built that house up here and covered it up? <laughs> <laughs> well, we'll have to fix it then. I, I, I was being serious. I covered up the cave system that's underneath this. <laughs> All right, so uh, I don't I don't have any type of room to bring that chest inside. Well, this is what I was gonna do. I'm still working on the house. Yeah, dude, this house takes forever. It took me uh, several hours to build windows ours. Windows everywhere. Don't hate on the windows. Are you? You're already hating on the windows, and you 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 liked them. Like what the hell? I know. <laughs> you're just like a little two-year-old that tries about everything. All right. Everything. Do -do -do. First he's like, I love all these windows. Now he's like, oh, all these freaking windows. Well, it was kind of screwing me out of an area to put the chest at. So that's why I was like, oh, all these windows. I mean, do you want me to get rid of them all? Oh, no. You want me to burn no, this we'll, place to like the ground? Said, we should just build. No, we should just build a. Uh, Blow it up. I got TNT. Underground chest area. No, <laughs> I have. Let's not blow it up. I mean, I have TNT, and you know I'm not afraid to blow it up. I'll do it. I'll just put some TNT down like that, and then I don't have redstone. Yeah, I'm gonna put that TNT in the chest. Yeah, I was just kind of thinking like, uh, please don't do it, please don't do it, please don't do it. Shoot, I did not mean to I, I came back down here because I got to chop more trees down because ah, I got to use a lot of stairs. <laughs> building a house, building a house. Like, this is what's going to mainly take up half of the episode is us working on this house. But we're getting it done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, that much we are. I mean, she's looking beautiful. Or he, or whatever it is. Okay, I'm going to put your map in your chest. My chest? I don't have a chest. Uh, well, I kind of made laid one down next to your bed. You do not always destroy those, right? <laughs> oh, well, I mean, it's just temporary so that we don't get everything mixed up like with our maps yeah because our maps are basically the same I mean <clears throat> I need more dark oak I gotta go cut down some trees I'm still gathering just everything like anything I see that I know we can use I've been taking I mean this house is starting to come alive Starting to look alive. Oh yeah, it's filling out great. I mean, I'm gonna have to make the staircases come out by one, kind of make it look like an actual legitimate house. I'm going a wall for like a minute. I'll be right back. Oh uh, yeah, that's not good. It's going a wall for one minute, guys. One minute, he said. All right, let's go ahead and put all this junk that I have on me in here. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to make a cobstone axe. And we're going to get to work on that house. <laughs> Excuse me. Excuse me. So let's go ahead and get to work on getting some more dark oak wood. And then we need to make some doors also. 
My cat is snoring. She's a little snore. So cute. All right. Let's see. So we're going to break all this up. Tear down this tree. Take all of its wood. We need every single part of its wood. All of it. Matter of fact, every single bit of it. And we're gonna go ahead and chop this part down. Sorry about that, man. My old lady called me and let me know that I need to come and get her in like 50 minutes from work. That's perfect. It gives us plenty of time to finish the house. Yeah. <laughs> uh, that's weird that you really expected a lag. I, I did what? I said, that's really weird how you had that random lag. I don't know if it was on your side. It could have been the uh, PlayStation itself. Because PlayStation Party Chat mm -hmm. ain't like the best thing in the world. Because if you weren't lagging on your screen, then... Yeah, I wasn't lagging on the screen. I wasn't either. I mean, my controller died. <laughs> Oh, you know what? That's what it could have been. It could have been my controller trying to disconnect. I gotta, I gotta see, I gotta send my PlayStation in to get like a Bluetooth repair or some crap with that, because it's it's starting to lose connection to certain Bluetooth devices, and I think the Bluetooth antenna is going out. So I have to send mine. So what is needing done right now? We just need to get some dark oak wood, right? Yeah, I got. I I grabbed some. Making a bunch of steps. I'm gonna need a lot more than what I currently have. I might. I'm not sure. I cleared out my whole inventory just to be able to have it cleaned all out. Right now, yeah, that's a lot of stacks. I think this would be great. Yeah, this is, should be a decent amount. We need doors. Yep, already on it. I'm, I'm over here mining some oak wood too. Or cutting some oak wood. <sighs> My oak phone wood. vibrated. Let's see why it vibrated. Oh, Patriot telling me what's up on the PlayStation. What's up on the PlayStation? I have all notifications currently turned off, so I can't really read any notifications that come through the console itself because the one thing I'm going to tell you about live streaming make sure you turn off your annoying notifications on your console no one likes it whenever you receive a notification whenever you uh, are trying to live stream so we're going to put these stairs here like I did in my house Voila. so it makes it look like the roof actually came on down now we're gonna go this side and I know you broke those blocks I'm not stupid <laughs> oh, I need one single block never said you were. I need one single block one single block of what of oak like an, a plank I mean all right give me one minute you destroyed my way down <laughs> nice shot thank you Thanks. You got a pretty good arm for a really weird looking character. <laughs> I mean, whose side did you take? Your mom's side mostly or your dad's side or <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> I just kinda joined in on a game and I just woke up. I have no memory before yeah. that. I don't even know my parents. I just know that these green suspenders are my dad's. What did happen? Last thing I remember, we were on a plane. And 
Oh, and gosh. something about an engine now function and, and and they're trying to fight turbulence. Next thing I know, people were screaming. I saw a child fly across the across the road. And I blacked out from there. <laughs> I blacked out. I remember we were going to Minecraft Con. <laughs> that explains it right there. <laughs> <laughs> we were going to Minecraft Minecon. Perfect storyline. <laughs> it's a perfect story. Probably so. <laughs> Probably took that a little bit downhill of making fun of Minecon. Minecon is so stupid. Uh, no, not really. I've never been to one. Um. No, but what did happen? Like, how should we make this role play out? Like. Hmm. How? I don't know. Uh. Oh. Oh. Okay. I was married. You took. You stole my wife from me. You married her. Then she ended up divorcing you and took everything you had. And she did the same with me. And well, now we're rebuilding our lives together because it turns out that we fell in love for one another. Oh yeah. That's actually a movie, by the way. <laughs> Why did you have to do that? Oh, I, I thank you, but no thank you. I don't roll like that. Um, not even in Minecraft. Uh, sorry, I screamed like a girl. <laughs> not even in Minecraft will I ever roll like that. Uh, no. Because I'm not about taking other people's girls, and you know that. Uh, not in a million years. Uh, two, I don't think I want to have your girlfriend... Uh, she mean. Oh, she is honorary. And cute, but mean. I have to say that because it's respectful. I've watched her watch this back and just hear me say that, and then she's going to call me a douche because it was such a... Well, like I like I always tell you, if I don't ever... Like, if I don't message back 24 hours from now, just call the police. I mean, if your girlfriend hurts you, you kind of deserve it. Cause you always do something. I am. I'm a straight up. Yeah, I'm always mean to her. I mean, in a good way. You know, there's no no hitting or nothing like that. People don't take it that way. He don't do that. Not that I'm aware of. Nope. Well, I mean, if you consider tickling and then roughhouse. Oh man! <laughs> now we're teaching kids all sorts of things they don't need to be knowing. What type of people are we? Promoting violence. You know what I just realized? You put all the musculus items like gold and everything in the food chest instead of... No, no, those chests, those chests chest. were all... There was only one chest. One chest. Alright. We only had one chest because I only made one chest. So everything went in it. Hmm. I'd totally ignore the chest by... The double chest by the beds then. <laughs> oh, wow. See, and you're gonna, you're gonna complain at me. Man. Oh yeah. Uh, what did you do with my? Oh, uh, you took to my do. blocks. I really needed those. Oh, uh, I put them in. They there. were my walking upstairs type block. I'm gonna use half slabs. Did not mean. <laughs> I did not mean <laughs> to place that one. Guys, I'm going to show you an awesome way to parkour up. I'm just going to ignore this half slab sitting in front of the door. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know who put that there. It wasn't me. See, our I roof was know. actually three high because then I, could, I was able to put half slabs on it. Or three wide. Oh, yeah. But... Eh. I ain't really too worried about it. We'll just have to throw some torches up here to prevent mobs from spawning. Oh, no, wait. No, we don't. I could put half slabs down. Up. Oh, someone's getting tired. Dude, I've been tired, like, every day of the week so far. I don't know what it is. Like, I went from... Like, I've been testing some stuff out. Like, ever since... I started this little thing where I drink a bottle of water 
every like four hours I watched some video and uh, I stopped doing it the last two days and ever since then I've just been drained of energy you watched some video like I went from just a water diet yeah I watched a, a video on YouTube about if you drink water you know every day instead of drinking soda pop it'll make you more energized well, I tried it, and I, I didn't see much of a difference in myself, so I went back to drinking, you know, my normal. And how long, how, how long stuff. did you, how long uh, did you do it? For like four days. Bailey. I was just trying it to see it. It takes it just, it a week me. for your body to realize. What the heck? That's, not, that's like me sitting there just saying, yeah. I tried out I, I tried out this new energy bar and I've only been taking it for two days and I haven't seen a difference. It don't work that quick. It just doesn't work that quick. It it takes your body a week before it starts showing signs of anything. That's like taking a vitamin you and you instantly think it works right away. No, it doesn't. You have to take vitamins for two weeks before your body starts before your body really starts seeing any difference. And you should always take vitamins, people. Take vitamins. Pure chemical. There's a skeleton shooting at me from down below. If you don't mind cutting, cutting his head off, that would be great. Well, you see, I'm down in a mine getting materials. Um, so I'm currently unavailable right now. I hope now. he comes down there and eats you alive. <laughs> Ow! He's going to knock me off the roof. This is not good. I don't get. Poor red bean. I don't get paid for this. I don't think we get paid for anything we do on. I do. I get paid in God. Darn skeleton, go away! You shot so many arrows up my bootocks. Go away! Oh, he hurt himself. What an idiot! He shot an arrow and it came back down to hit him. Ow! He's killing me. I got like three hearts left or four hearts left. I'm telling you, if I left the mine right now, I still wouldn't get there. Uh, I'm any dead. Difference. I died. Rip in peace, Bradley. Yeah, see, like, even if I left, as soon as you said, oh, he's trying to kill me, I wouldn't. Nah, you had to plenty of time. What? Me? No, never. Now I'm going to die again because he's still being a jerk. Let me pick up all um, my stuff. Uh, die, die. Yeah, I killed him. I could have just stopped doing my work and gone down there and kill him. <laughs> could have. <laughs> I like doing this the hard way. Uh. Now, but as y'all could tell, basically what I'm doing is I'm making the roof kind of pop out by one to kind of give it that 3D look. I think on my house, did I pop it out by one or two? Oh, dude, I don't even remember. That was so long ago that we built that. I'm surprised we got as far as we have. Dude. And we've already made concept changes. It too. almost looks just like the other house. The only thing we got to do now is get some bushes, get some regular regular oak leaves, and make it go all the way around the house with the little small patio that goes all the way around the house. And, man, we I mean, I'm surprised I even was able to replicate it as this good because that house I randomly built like that was a random house that I built and being able to basically replicate the house is just amazing like not very many people can do that I say that but people go on YouTube and they watch videos and they replicate everything <laughs> <laughs> Some people are probably thinking like, yeah, we can. I'm not saying you can't. I'm just saying you, it's hard. I mean, especially if you just build a house randomly, like I did, because I'm random. So, Patriot, think about selling this house about 10 million dollars would you buy it wait patriot i didn't call you patriot i said bailey 
I think. I could have <laughs> swore you just said. No, nope, there's no proof. Um, no. I don't think I'd buy a house for $2 million. Alright, 1.5. Still, I wouldn't even buy a million dollar house. Ten thousand. That's actually too cheap for a house. Four hundred thousand. Yeah. Uh, no. See, I I could live in a little. I could live in mobile, like a little mobile home. Mm -hmm. For like the rest of my life and never have a problem. Yeah, with except it. when a tornado comes and your ass gets sucked up into pieces. <laughs> You do not know how many tornadoes I've lived through. <laughs> Don't even bring that up with me. You know what's sad? You know it's the first thing that goes by by from cool. anything, just from winds alone. Mobile homes. Cause they're just cause they're yep. so cheap. But that's the thing, they're cheap. They're not made they're made to move around, suppose to a certain extent. But it's still scary, like, because a regular house can get destroyed as well. So you're really not safe. When a tornado comes, you're not, you're, you're honestly not safe. You could try to hide from it and take cover and hope to God you live. But if a tornado's really going to hit your house to wreck, yeah, no, you're, you're kind of screwed. There is no hiding. Yeah. You're, you might live, but your house definitely won't. No, it's just the honest truth. Like, I tell people that all the time. Like, when I hear in the news, they, they sit there and talk about these people lost their homes. And, and you know, they but at least they lived through. You know, I'm happy they made it through. But then I sit there and I'm like, well, one, they're freaking idiots. They knew a tornado was coming. They had, ev they had every right to hurry up and leave. You want to know the best way to get away from a tornado? Leave everything behind, including your animals, because they ain't worth saving. Leave everything behind, jump in your vehicle, and leave. If you know that the storm is already producing tornadoes and stuff like that, and it's coming towards you, leave. Get out of there. Leave. Don't stay. Leave, because your house is not designed to withstand a tornado. Yes, sitting in the closet, or sitting in the bathroom, is the best place to be in your house. It's... It's... Your whole house just sucks. It's the best place to be. Just get out of there. Go go to a tornado shelter. Get the heck out of your house. I mean, I granted, you know, if a tornado ever came here, if, and you know, I would have to leave my cat behind. You think? You honestly think I'm gonna try to grab stuff? No, I'm gonna get up and I'm gonna go. Animals you can replace. Human beings you can't. And it sucks because you know it's gonna be heartbroken, but. It's either your life or the cat. Which one are you gonna choose? Your life. Hmm, that's a hard. No, it's question. not. It's a very simple question. Don't be idiotic. <laughs> I mean, granny, I know that most people are like, no, I wouldn't ever do that to my animal. I love my animal too much. Then you're 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 just crazy. You're dumb. You're crazy. That's how you're gonna die. Is being dumb and crazy. Don't be dumb and crazy. Now, granted, if you're willing to suck it up and try to sit through a tornado that's coming directly over you into your closet or wherever you're hiding at, or take a shelter at, it's to say not hide, go for it. Don't come crying to me, though, when you're, when, <laughs> when you're flying 100 feet away. Because I tried to tell you, get out of the house. Now, if it's a small one, if it's like a small tornado, nah, no, it's not worth it. You can stay at the house. But if it's like a F5, like the strongest, is it, can, it can get more stronger than that. But F5, I think, is like the highest recording we currently have for level-wise. If it gets to like a F5, just leave. There is no point even attempting to stay at your house. Your house is, there ain't going to be nothing left of it. That tornado's going to come and just wipe it like it's a piece of dirt. Hello, what's up? What's going on? Welcome to the stream. Hey, Bailey. Have you ever witnessed yeah. a tornado? Like, one-on-one? -on -one? Uh, 
like face to face. Well, most of the tornadoes that I've lived through have been in the dark, so I've never actually seen seen one. But I have seen one touch down for a few seconds and then. Oh, like those baby right ones. The, I call so. them baby ones. Dude, Texas is known and that was to get a tornadoes. Like, yeah, I did. Texas that. gets a lot of tornadoes. I mean, we get them all the freaking time, every year round. <laughs> you got, like, no more in Minecraft. Right now, what we're doing is we're building a house. I'm currently struggling to get this one step to actually go down. I don't know why it's being a punk. It's just being a punk. So what I'm going to do... I don't have no more half slabs. Oh, I know, I know what I can do. Uh, I think I left a wooden, some wood in the chest up there, some dark there oak go, wood. There we go. that. There we go. No, I, I found out. I figured it out. I mean, now we have a beautiful, somewhat of a house, and for temporary reasons, we'll have to put some torches up here. Eventually, <laughs> not right now. This house looks amazing so far. Just the uh, the way it's starting to come together. Like I, I like the way it looks. How we got the like the staircase is kind of popping up from the side. I am going to do it to these sides too. I was thinking about doing it to these sides right here, kind of making them come out by it, like one down. I like that though. I don't know why that staircase turned like that, but sure. Man, I I swear Minecraft had to do the update to make stairs rotate some noise or get out. Something like that. To kind of give it that feel of... Yeah. Yeah. Got 38 iron smelting. Holy cow, 38 iron already? Yeah, dude, I, I, that's why I couldn't come and get you. I just went heck of far down in a, in a mine. <laughs> Hecafar? Is that even a word? Yeah, Hecafar. Yeah, Hecafar. No. I think your plurals were incorrect. Are you sure it's Hecafar and not Hellafar? Well, I'm trying to watch my language for the stream, so... Well, you're already in it. No, I'm trying to watch my language. Keep it kid-friendly. Kid-friendly? Ah, crap! Yeah. <laughs> Bailey. <laughs> what? I forgot one whole side. <laughs> look at this. Come out here and look at this. <laughs> Ouch. Hold on. Sorry about that. To make stairs go the right way, place them on the bottom of the half block. Uh, yeah, I know. Oh, you're over here. Okay. <laughs> Thank you for letting me know that. Yeah. <laughs> I, I, oh, that's actually, that's that, bad. that, right after I got done making a compliment, man, I, I'm almost done. And then I make a boo-boo like, <laughs> like that. I'm glad I caught on to it. It's okay, we all make I'm glad I caught on to it pretty quickly. Because imagine. Yeah, that would have been a very fun fix later on after we already. Did, did you get more? Oh yeah, we're done. dark oak wood by any chance. No, you went mining. That's right. Uh, no, I just come out of the mine. Yeah. Went to go play with yourself in a mine. You went to go find some. Don't make fun of me, you man. Went... You're just you went to go find some iron in a mine. <laughs> All right. Uh, now I can officially say <laughs> that side is done. So we got that part done. I am going to have to go out there and make some more half size. I need to get some more oak wood. We need to try to plant more oak trees. Dude, how much wood do you think I've already used? Over 100? Well over 100. You've used a lot on this house. I mean, well I, I, it's going to look sure. a lot better, guys. This this ain't even the finishing design. Uh, the, fin the finishing design, it's going to look amazing. Because I will... In Okay, I'm going to end up showing y'all the other world exactly what I'm trying to get this house to look like. 
I'm trying to replicate a house on like other world, which is going to be difficult. So this top part right here is going to have be half slabs to prevent mobs from spawning. Oh, well, don't you love it when dogs really bark when you're live streaming? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> but uh and then this part's gonna have a path going all the way around it so it's gonna be a too thick path going all the way around the house it's gonna look amazing you'll see what i mean once i load up the other world just to kind of show it off uh, i'm gonna go ahead and get some more wood we're gonna finish up this roof and then uh we'll go from there you, you, what are you going into mines for uh I left some iron down here, some iron blocks and stuff. I was going back through to make sure I got everything before just saying, oh, okay. Oops. Uh, uh, you left iron down there? Yeah, because my pickaxe broke, so I went oh, back down okay. and collected it. Okay, I, I, I thought you are going back down there to hide your darkest secrets again. How do you know? <laughs> Well, we, we know because we were kidnapped, taken by aliens, and sent on this horrible, horrible planet. <laughs> die, witch, if y'all want to come up with like the a good roleplay for us to do for this world, please let us know in the comments. We're trying to think of like a really good roleplay for Minecraft of how we got here and how it happened or what happened. But we can't really think. I can't think of anything that's really yeah, too good you know we lack a man can <laughs> we lack we're 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 currently squidward we Skip we don't squidward. we don't have the powers to make a bot make a box uh magical yeah that was a really weird episode of spongebob when i watched it when i was a kid whenever spongebob was just in a box and he was able to make all sorts of noises in this box and Squidward kept thinking it was like a tape player or or something like that. And then and he got excited because he thought he got the power to actually work inside the box when he learned it. But it, it, he was really getting taken away and put to the trash. <laughs> it was so messed up. <laughs> you got to have imagination. Does that with his hand, a little rainbow. Oh, uh, I know you're talking about. Yeah, now, yeah, I, I forgot all about that episode, to be honest. I didn't. You know, the reason why I remember it's the reason why I know SpongeBob so well because that show is preferred is all get out. SpongeBob was always SpongeBob and Patrick always touched each other, always in their underwear, slept together. That show needed help. When you're when you get older and you think about it, oh man, that scars kids. That, that has to scar people. Like that's disgusting. Ill. Patriot liked it though. Patriot loves SpongeBob. I think. I'm not sure. I don't know if Patriot really liked it or not. He probably didn't. He probably hated guts of SpongeBob. <laughs> Do you think Patriot hated it, Bailey? I guess. I don't know. Honestly, I think he probably would. Because he's into. A, I think he's into classic stuff. Like. I don't know. Like, I know one thing he loves to watch, and so do I, is Supernatural. Supernatural is just beautiful. I love Supernatural. Sam, Dean, all of them, Bob. It's kind of sad when you almost know the whole cast of the crew. <laughs> In a way kind of having a man crush over there are you oh man a man crush just a man crush <laughs> what do you mean by a man crush a man crush a man crush ow not yep. in this karma just bit me i'm still confused a man crush are you what are you trying to say oh it's, it, it, it spells itself out. Well, you know, you can't say that nowadays because it's classified as uh, frowned on by people that are. What are we talking about? I'm oh, like no, mentally no. confused. I'm talking about like, <laughs> no, I'm talking about like your, 
You're crushing it. Oh. On him. I ha I was like confusing myself, just no, making I... no shit out of my mouth. Oh yeah, when you sat there and said that that was frowned upon on YouTube, I was like, um, wait, what? I don't know what I was talking about. I was just saying shit. Uh, <laughs> that's me though. Um, yeah, I guess if I was a girl, I'd definitely uh date one of them too. But since I'm a male and I don't roll like that, <laughs> you know, uh, sucks. They don't actually suck. I actually, I'm just very proud. That I've, I've actually liked some. Uh, I enjoy something, because most stuff I don't enjoy. Like when it comes to TV shows. Like I'm a okay fan of wrestling. I like wrestling. Uh, of course, we all know it's scripted, but still. It's okay to watch. It is. From time to time. <laughs> I'm just playing. I'm just playing. I should definitely <laughs> just slap you so hard. Until you see beautiful colors. <laughs> I'll have John's. You think you're man enough, buddy. You think you're man enough. B Bailey, you're talking to Bradley. <laughs> I know who I'm talking to. You know I'm not afraid to do anything. To a certain extent. <laughs> no. You should know that by now. Mm -hmm. I should know that by now. Our house is, our roof is done. Our floor is done for now. No, I mean, oh, <laughs> could I hurt myself? Oh, no, it's not. Oh, oh, welcome to my life. I did the same thing again. I, I immediately sat there and said, oh, it's done, and, and it's not even done. I want some McDonald's. Dude, you're making me hungry. I want some pizza. I want, I want, I want to. I got hot pockets with ranch right in my refrigerator, ready to be. Cooked. I mean, I, I. Too far. I'm in Texas, and you're all the way out in La La Land. <laughs> it's far. I mean. I think our house is beautiful. Yeah, our our houses are beautiful. They look better than most houses in real life. <laughs> Oh, my friend made a good joke. He goes, why do people call their houses beautiful? It's nothing but pure freaking wood. Because <laughs> you get it because it's made out of wood. So why do people call their yeah, houses beautiful it. when it's made out of pure freaking wood? Dude, when he said that, like, because we were at, we were in Dallas when we were looking at a building and just the scenery around it was just, you know, really, really outdone. Cause it, it, they, yeah. it was like the disabilities that uh made the nice looking cedar and stuff like that. So I was like, oh, that's really cool looking. And he goes, he goes, yeah, but why do people call it a beautiful house when it's just made out of nothing but wood? What's so beautiful about that? <laughs> and I started laughing. I was, I was like, you know, you're. Well, I'll be right no, you're now. not. And this time he did not know. I was gonna kill him when I get inside the house. Yeah, I, I like the way this is coming together. This is coming together beautifully. I mean, we're gonna have some flowers around this house. We're gonna. Ah, oh, man, I just really love the way the roof is done. It really brings out the unique of the whole entire house. Ah. Okay, do you know those times when you're playing with your, and it goes into your... You were talking about... Uh, yeah, I do, actually. Pizza, and it made me smart. I do remember those times. Th those were my favorite games. There was a lot of games that were like that. You... What I miss out and on? He was talking about if I remember the times of games when they were. Uh, I got to get back up and read it. Uh, basically, he sat there and said, "Do you know the time? Those times when you play with your uh, F R I Z B Y and you throws into your." 
Oh, man. I mean, you can read it. You're on YouTube. Anyways, because it's too far for me to read. I'm sitting I'm sitting far from the computer. Yeah, but thank you. Yeah, let me pull it up. <laughs> I'm gonna make I'm gonna make him be my reader from now on. Good and come to <laughs> good and come you will come to the next day to only see if it's find the game. Uh you know and whenever you sit too far and you're reading something your brain have you ever got to the oh, point yeah. where your brain just gets lazy of reading something like you start reading it and then you just start mumbling to yourself after a while you're just like yeah uh yeah because a lot of a lot of twitch streamers do it they'll read it they'll bake they bake uh so for example oh this game is so beautiful and yeah man i agree you have you you noticed that i give me one you, second yeah Sometimes that's how I am right now <laughs> with my brain. It's like I I love I love reading. Don't get me wrong. That didn't. It? It's like your brain just gets lazy. It's like eh, it's just, it's just what are you? I'm gonna scare him. Scare Cam. Scare Cam. You do know I'm watching the stream. Right? <laughs> I got him, guys. You saw his face. You saw the look on his face. I got him, guys. I got him. I got him. Oh, my God. His face is so priceless. <laughs> <laughs> that looks so dumb on the stream. Rawr. Don't call me dumb. I... Like a good kind of dumb. Like a, like a make you laugh dumb. I'm going to eat this. Oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Did you eat zombie? No, flesh? I ate a spider eye, which was a bad idea. Oh, I got one over here. No, I learned my lesson. <laughs> we'll get him, guys. We'll get a good scare on him eventually. Scare cam. Let's see how much wood do I got. Da -da 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 -da. Nothing. I got absolutely no wood, hardly. <sighs> so... Yeah, that's a cracker right here. Yep. Huh? <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> Let me see what this house looks like in the daytime. Oh man, it is beautiful. Oh, uh, you're just a jerk. You can go four out, by the way, on each side. Yeah, I was doing this for a certain reason. <gasps> oh, we have a baby chicken! No, oh, come on! I was actually gonna. Oh man, I was actually gonna keep it. How do you? Keep I was it? gonna keep it for I can make my awesome chicken machine killing whenever we get redstone. Damn this cow! <laughs> <laughs> Why do I still have a wooden sword when I can make a cobblestone sword? Come on, like get real. Actually, if you go in this chest, you can make a iron Ooh, sword. Gold sword. We got four iron. What about a gold sword? Gold swords stink, in my opinion, but by all means. Man, He's hating on a gold. And if you come over here, man, hey, if you come over here, because I'm trying to keep everything separate, in my chest, there's like 32 iron. Oh, wait, I can actually just put it over here. Hold on. Oh, 37. And it'd be in this big middle chest between our beds. Between our beds next to the yeah right here right here kill my chicken let me see
Hey, look. Uh, while you're doing that, I guess I will actually go down to the mines and look for some redstone. So, oh, I need to take some torches. Oh, that's not the mine that I go to, but you're more than welcome to start digging there. No, I'm gonna go to the <laughs> one that's in the sand biome. Actually, I'm gonna go venture out in the sand biome a little bit more to go see what else is out there. Oh, All we right. ran out of the furnace. I'm gonna use the stairs as a, a burn resource for now. Uh, let me grab a saddle. And let me grab my armor. Or not my armor, but you know what I meant. Uh, let me get rid of this wooden sword because it's garbage. I'm hoping y'all really are enjoying this. We're about to go see if we can find a village or something. Um, I did a tame a horse, but I totally forgot where that horse is at. Which way did we come from? I think it was this side. Hold on, man. Uh, I don't, I don't know. I can't tell you. <laughs> oh, my phone vibrated fiber, fiber, real hard. Let's see what for. Oh, bitch. Oh, okay. Awesome. Uh, what time is it for you, Bailey? How much more time do you have, bud? I got like uh, 10 minutes until I have to get off to go get Ooh. Jesse. Yeah, you're, you're my slave now. But it shouldn't take me no more than 30 minutes, so I could come back and we What happened to my white horse? Get right back on what we're doing. Dude, your white horse? You know- Uh-oh. Uh, wait, no I didn't. Your white horse is over- Oh, well that's where we spawned at, right- Oh, sorry, I didn't mean to hit my mic, guys. Right where you're at's right where we had it Are you at. sure? So that's right where we spawned. Yeah, that's right where we spawned. White horse! Ask her, I'll just take this ugly looking one. He ain't really. <laughs> you hurt his feelings. Man, it, I like. Uh, yeah, he. Ever since I said that to him, he's like denying me now. Like, honestly, really? Oh, he loves me now. <laughs> oh. Stop kicking me off. You will be mine. <laughs> you got stairs in the cooker? Yeah. I made so many of them. No, mm -hmm. be mine. Stop doing this to me, horsey. Oh my goodness, these horses are just so annoying the way you have to tame them. Why can I not just feed them a golden carrot? You love me now, horsey? Mm -hmm. Take that as a yes. Yay! Okay, give him armor and give him that. He's got a lot of health. But he can't jump jump for crap. Or run like crap. Are you inside the house? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh my god, my horse can't even jump up towards two blocks. Can you, uh, bring me my map? Because if I go in there, I'm going to die. Your map? Alright, hold on. Oh, I actually scared him. Wow, scare cam worked. Yeah, I wasn't expecting you to come in. Oh, that hurt really bad. So we need to go this way. I can put this in my offhand. I'm gonna go nope. get my food and eat it before I have to go get Jesse. <laughs> Ooh, you said Jesse. Gotta go get her. Gotta go pick her up. Pick her up from work. What we're gonna do is we're gonna kind of venture towards the village. Uh, my horse is really slow, so I am gonna eventually uh, get a better horse than this one. And horses don't swim. There we go. Alright, so we already we already Wait. been in there. The temple. We didn't really There we go. We, we found okay stuff in the temple. There goes a bigger desert over there. 
These are like little islands. That's all they are. Little islands. And I can't take my horse across water. Across ocean. Um, but there is another island. Well, actually I can because this one's only a single block low. All the way around, which is kind of good. Hmm. There we go. Oh, crap. Got my horse into the somewhat of a jungle bomb. Maybe we can find a parrot. I forgot how to tame a parrot. Cow cow beans, I believe. Now that makes them pop. Oh. Um. I don't know. I think it makes them pop. Or was it seeds that made them pop? I can't remember. I have no clue. Man, my horse is too redunkless to jump over a single block. He's just too, too heavy. My horse is too heavy. He's got a lot of weight on him. Ooh, melons! Do you want melons? Uh, yeah, we could use them. Alright, unfortunately, man, I do gotta go. Well. And I have to get my old way from work. I'll be right back. Hold on. Let me come back to the house, because okay. I'm not that far. Until the meantime... Okay, I, I actually need your, your help. Uh, yeah, I, I messed up. My horse got stuck for a second. How so? Because he so, can't jump over a single yeah, right. block. Like, that's how crappy he jumps. He just doesn't jump good. I wonder if it's the armor that weighs him down. I wonder if Minecraft made it mm. where armor on horses slows him down now. Oh, I can go third person on the horse? Hmm. I never knew that. Okay, let me... Yeah, no, he just sucks at jumping. He's got a lot of health, though. That's the one <laughs> thing I do like. He's got a lot of health. He's... Right. How many hearts is he? Uh, he's got full bottom and one on top. Dang. I mean... And that's, that's uh, without the armor. With the armor, I, I don't think the armor really does anything too much, honestly. I don't know. <clears throat> Let me see, where are you at? Where are you at? Where are you at? Oh, you're over here. Yeah, okay, I'm cool. really close at the house. I might end up, like I'm going to keep him temporary, but as soon as I see another horse, you, you know I'm going to get that other horse. And I'm just going to let this one be free, because I ain't going to kill it. I'm just going to let it be free. Alright. Honestly, I might just let you roll. I, I might just get rid of you now, because you're a slow horse. And now I can't make it up that one little spot to that tree. No! Ah! I put myself in third person like an idiot. Okay, give me that stuff. It's okay. We all make mistakes. We all have those days. We all make mistakes. Man, this is a really long video. Or live stream. <laughs> Alright, guys. Uh, that's pretty much it for Minecraft for today. Uh, I'll probably end up live streaming some farming sim. Of course, Bailey won't be playing with me. But we'll still be together to talk. I'm not sure if I'm going to end up doing it today or not. Uh, but thank you so much for watching. If you are watching this as a press recorded video... Make sure you check the link down below to visit Bailey's, Bailey's YouTube channel. Bailey, go ahead and shout out your YouTube channel. Just go to the link in the description, guys, that I think will be there. Or go to Bailey Not Happy space XL. And that's me. You actually put a space in your name. I have Okay. To. And if you are new to this uh, awesome, awesome uh, channel, make sure you click that subscribe button to get... The awesome videos that are coming and don't forget to click that bell icon because if you don't uh youtube will kill you they will straight up so make sure you click that bell icon to protect yourself because it's like a shield so click it also don't forget to click the like button if you want to see more i love everybody out there and i hope you have a blissful rest of the day bye <laughs>